Hey, what's up everybody? JP, all about comics. I'm um, just doing a quick little video today for uh, some community shout out. Um, also, I'll show off a couple books that I recently got in the mail. Um, nothing, I think today is Wednesday, um, this new comic book day for most of you. So, um, nothing new for me this week. Um, hoping to get a copy of the um, Resurrect, uh, Phoenix Resurrection 4, the the Sing variant. If you guys haven't seen that yet, that thing is really, really sweet. And it's going for 30, 40 bucks already. So hopefully I can find one cheaper than that. So anyways, I just wanna take a moment here and just thank all of the recent subscribers um, to the channel and um, you know, some quick shout outs and whatnot. So, um, let's get started, all right? So, pretty long list, um, which is awesome to see, but it's been about a month worth of uh, <laughs> subs here, so I'll try to be fast, but also respectful. Um, Nerd versus Fat. Um, Hope I don't butcher this name. So uh, you guys probably know this individual. It's uh, Tuomoa. Um, great channel, by the way. Um, TJ Watson. We got uh, Web Slinging Collector. The Lone Wolf of Comic Book Hunters. <laughs> um, pretty sure he's uh, an on again, off again subscriber because I have him on here. Saw the email a couple times, so who knows? But anyways, he has a cool channel too. If you guys haven't seen it. Um, uh, Never Stop Collecting, um, DS Comics, Beta Baxter, um, Happy Box Inc. or Incorporated, uh, Beauty Comics, another new subscriber, or a new uh, YouTube channel. Actually, Doom was kind of giving them some shout outs, so I went and subbed them up and checked out a great channel, good content. Um, Mr. Rockfish01. Uh, Rich Reviews from the Batcave, uh, Ruben Sanchez, Thanatos, um, if you guys haven't checked out that channel, um, he's, again, he's got great content, some awesome books to show, um, lots of slabs, so check those out, um, Kyle Rowe, you guys probably know him, um, Avery Goddard, then you got the MIB um, Master Museum 1979, the Jolly Ranger, uh, Dominic Risi or Richie, depends on your pronunciation, uh, Jennifer Courtney, Mr. D, you guys all know Mr. D, he's got the sub contest going, um, good content, great dude, Branko Bear, Joseph's Books, Holger Peterson, so make sure you guys go, go check out Holger Peterson. Um, it's been commenting on a lot of my videos, which I appreciate. So uh, any kind of good interaction, I'm always uh, cool to talk with anyone. So anyways, uh, 150 Big Head, um, Comic Cavern Collection Collector, um, Symphonic Elk, The Nerd Cave, Steven Schnee, uh, Tacoma Comics, Robotech Zero Zero, Don't Sleep, I know that feeling, um, Comic Book Ben, and last, Jim Comics. So if you guys want to go check them out, um, check out these channels, see if there's someone you want to sub back or sub and check out their stuff, whatever. Um, that being said, um, I'm going to be doing like a kind of a private signing with, uh, Natalie Sanders, if any of you guys are interested or want to get something signed, you can PM me. Um, I can go over the cost and everything. Uh, relatively cheap, um, considering how much a lot of people charge for SIGs these days. So yeah, if you're interested, let me know. Um, I have a stack of books to get signed myself, but um, if you want to send me something to get signed for you, that's no problem. Just uh, like I said, PM me and we can go from there. So a couple books I'm going to show off. Um, got in the mail. One got, this came in the mail yesterday. So um, I'm finding that when I'm searching for 
certain covers that look like, you know, I don't know, this nice little babe with a blade. A Xenoscope really does tickle the fancy. Um, they have a ton of stuff that appeals to me, and I'm sure appeals to a lot of us, but there's no real long-term value or spec or anything like that. It's just for fun. Um, I, I have my serious collection, I have my artist collections, and then I have my base of blades. Um, so I found this book um, for a buck. I, it was kind of the time when all the Morbius talk about movie spec and all that stuff. That's a really cool cover. Um, it's Batman, what was it, 699.1. So whatever that means. I'm not a huge Spider-Man collector. I do love the character. It's just not something I do. But um, anytime they can incorporate a vampire into the mix, I think that's a good idea. And he's the living vampire, it turns out, not the dead kind. And then I forgot to show that. I think this came out last week or the week before. I'm so behind. It's uh, Barbarella. I assume it's number two. This is cover B or the second cover. I like this one of the two. I like this one the best. Really cool, different kind of artwork. I'm not familiar with this particular artist. Haven't really researched it either, but anyways, if you're in the mood for some nudity and whatnot, there you go. All right, a couple more here. And then I'll call it a video. You got Justice League of America. Um, this is like the official handbook or index or something, number two. I think it just kind of like breaks down different characters and whatever. It was kind of a throw-in book into a lot that I purchased. But it doesn't matter. It's something cool. Um, so anyways, it's got some good characters on the cover. And the next two is kind of a spec book. It's kind of a spec play. You got Teen Titans number 50. I believe these are going to be the first appearance of, is it the Titans of Tomorrow or something like that? That's got some talk going on. Um, and you got this one, Teen Titans Legion Special number, it's also number two. No, just a Legion Special number one. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I'm going to show for this video, I don't want to take up everyone's time too much. But again, if you guys are interested in a Natalie Sanders thing, let me know. Um, we'll work out the details via personal message or what have you. So thank you guys for watching and you know, you guys sub up as many people as you can. Um, support the community and keep having fun. You guys take care. Have a good one.